water, heat, or the bowl outside, and whisk till your arm falls off. <laughs> or we can do it in a food processor, which we'll, that's how we're going to do it today, which will make it easy for you to do. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of eggs. Some lemon juice. The lemon juice and eggs, egg yolks, egg yolks are going to be um, it's going to cook the egg yolks. There's no real heat, but the acid from the lemon juice will cook these egg yolks. And you'll see the color change as this whips. Use about one lemon in here. No, you don't want any seeds in here. We, I got these from my restaurant. I take the seeds out so I don't have to worry about it. So I can squeeze them right in there. We get juice about one lemon. And then for a little seasoning, we're going to use the Worcestershire, the Liam Perron, Worcestershire. Just a dash. Same thing with the Tabasco. Usually when I cook, I don't use one without the other. The dash. A little white pepper. And only, you don't have to use white pepper. This is a visual thing. I don't want to see little black specks in my holidays. So, right there, a little white pepper. Salt, I use sea salt. I dry it out myself, grind it myself. Salt is not a spice, as well know. I don't know if you know or not, but anyway, salt is not a spice. It's a food enhancement. So from my philosophy, I think you should have the best enhancement you can possibly buy. This is sea salt that I dry myself. That's unbelievable. Florida salt, one place. But they scoop this up with a shovel, put it out on, on the bunny sacks, let it dry, and then they ship it to me. It's wet in a five gallon bucket. And then I deal with it for a couple of more weeks, getting it to where it is right here. So we use really good salt at Rodney's on Broadway. And I suggest that you use good salt. The little girl with the umbrella. <laughs> you gotta know. Okay, so. We have our ingredients right now. Not hard. We got white pepper, sea salt, lemon juice, Tabasco, Worcestershire. All right. All right. See, this is not getting up there the way I want it to do. There's a little more lemon juice in it. We can get a little bit of. Going on up there. And if it doesn't, because you don't want to make a whole lot of this anyway. There we go, we're getting it now. You can tilt it. All right. And if you'll notice, if you can see, you can see the color will start changing. Start getting lighter. You want to go, you want this to go for, I don't know, probably a minute and a half, two minutes. So while that's going, which I already did, I melted one pound of butter. You want this butter to be 
um, at least warm to the touch. If you cold, this will not work. See, it's starting to change colors now. I get lighter. And what we're going to do, this is uh, so many food processors have this. It's got a little bit tiny holder, which will allow you, it's like safety wheels for the person that's first making the sauce. So you don't put in too much butter and it'll break. When you're cooking, you want to use your eyes, your ears, your smell, touch. Everything is involved when you're cooking. So this is looking really good. Butter. So once we uh, get the hollandaise made, we're going to move on to the crab cake. And um, use a little Maryland blue lump crab. It's the only crab I use. What do you think that? Uh, my food for bear. You can get that at Kroger's. It's $50 a can right now. It's going for it. But it has no sales in it. Very sweet. So it's just warm to the touch. Not where I can hold it there forever and ever, but and then you just want to go a little bit. And you'll hear it. You don't want splashing sound, you want a paddle sound. Here. Once it's already taken hold, a little bit of the milk, bottom of the butter. Bada boom, bada bing. Same thing. 
put it back in the microwave and warm it up by the same temperature that your butter was, put two more eggs into the food processor, some more lemon juice, no more seasoning, because you don't want any more seasoning. Get it to go back to that same color and add that slowly to it and it bring it back. Um, what happens is if it breaks, um, the molecules um, stretch that turn into rubber bands and that's when you get this. And what happens when it breaks is they snap and it becomes water, it becomes loose fluid. And so what you're doing is you bring the eggs and lemon juice and bring it back where they're stretched from the butter and the milk. Go ahead. All right, let's make some crab cakes. Everybody likes to make crab cakes. Everybody's got their own crab cakes. I get people from Maryland all the time say I have really good crab cakes. So um, I'm, I deal with these. There's other stuff you can use in them. You can use king crab meat, um, which is really nice. You can add shrimp. You can uh, do lobster. Uh, you know, you can even use this lemon salt if you want to go off and flake it up a little bit. So we're going to take one pound Maryland blue lump crab. A little Dijon mustard. Not a lot. I do these every day too. If anyone wants to know about crab at my restaurant, I do this every day. They're always fresh. A little lemon juice. I mean, lime juice. Excuse me, I'm sorry. You don't have to worry about seeds and limes because they don't have any. Lime juice. So, all you want to do if you get this and you got more people, all you have to do is take this one can, get two cans, double it. Three cans, triple it. Whatever you're doing, this recipe will work. Just how many people you got. You used to feed um, four people per can, I think. All right, we got the lemon juice, one of my favorite spices of all time. Tarragon. A little tarragon. Don't we'll see. A lot of people use Obey in their crab cakes. A lot of people from Boston use Obey. I'm not a big old bay fan. I like Cape Cod seasoning. Cape Cod seasoning is similar to Obey. It costs about three times more than Obey and it has all the same ingredients except better quality and a little more oh, to it. I want to say a little more punch to it. Um, it's hard to come by the Cape Cod seasoning. So we got to be careful with this too. It's overpowering. It's like celery, salt, you know, you, you like it, but you know, you can't go crazy with it. It's got to be lingering in the back. So we go like about a quarter tablespoon. All right, so we got the tarragon, the mustard, Dijon mustard. I wouldn't use yellow mustard. Dijon mustard. You can use whole grain mustard. The monk mustard's really good. Um, so we got the Dijon, the tarragon, the old base. Um, we're going to take one egg, one whole egg. Yeah. And then I like to use, and you can use different forms. You can use Ritz crackers if you want. Some people do. I'm not a real big fan of that either, but you can use saltines, bake them up, crunch them up, put them in your food processor. What we're going to be using today are panko. These are rice crackers. It's a little more crispy. We got a little. This can, I put about a cup. This is two cup things. I put about a cup to it, one pound of bread crumbs. Okay. Um, let's spin that up, please. Big one. Okay. So then what we're going to do is take this, mix it all up. Hold it in. You don't want to break the crab up too much, you know? You still want to have chunks of crab in there. It's kind of bold there. And you just want enough ready to hold together. A lot of places, not nice places, but some places, you know, you just get flavored crab breadcrumbs. 
you don't want that, especially if you're making them for yourself. But there we go. We got the mixture all ready. And then what I do is I just lay these out on a sheet pan on my production oven, about 350, 375. Lay them out, put a little drizzle, a little butter on them, pop them in there about 15 minutes, no more. Perfect. Flip them over, they're already sauteed on the bottom. Now I already did these pet picks up earlier before you all, you know, when you're all at church, I was in here cooking. <laughs> so I got the crab cakes already made. This was just a sample to let you know how to do it. Mine are already made. I'm going to pop them in the oven. I'm going to knock this thing out. All right. I throw those away. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this is, this is, this is, this is, thing works out real well on these. This part of that part of that. All right. All right. So we got the hollandaise. We got the crab cakes. And we got the fish. I might go over and see if get this and put it in some. Okay. All right. Just to let you know, I walk by it. I don't know, you know, it's pretty good. But if it was any other place, at any other place, you would smell it right now. I have a place in the local, a big hub for supplies, all the South Texas, New Orleans, with, with live main lobsters, all that of us. Golf lobsters aren't worth it, or aren't worth anything. I would never eat a golf lobster if I had to. I do, I do. Some cooks I could be in the No, you can, you can get live main lobster at, at Good Foods. They'll order them for you. Um, I, what's really neat is I can, I get requests every now and then, not, not lately, but I can get a five pound lobster here tomorrow. Just big. Hold on, as big as you're in. Live. Because they have huge tanks up there, UPS does. And then the seafood company that I deal with has been my seafood company since I started as a young chef. Matter of fact, the guy that is running it now was my delivery person when I was a young chef at the Lexington Club when I was 24 years old. And he is now doing, doing it all. And they've been bought out by another company, a, a gourmet food company and produce. So it's all one big thing. So I do one stop shopping, which is really nice. There's a place and you can, in Lexington called Charlie's Fish on yes. Winchester Road. Yes. They sell sushi grades, fish. They would be your best bet for like finding something in an actual store. If they have really fresh fish. Probably gets it from the same place. Oh, yeah. They, they, it's, it's Blue Fence delivering everybody. Um, so we got, we've got the fish. We're going we're gonna to take it off the skin. And then you can have them do this. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing this just to, to show you how it can be done very easily so we got the i'm gonna cut it down the middle and then what we're gonna do after we cut this come up here we're gonna make a little bit of egg wash So our egg wash, breading. Whisk. Milk. Cream. Half and half, all will work. I'm using half and half. I don't carry milk at my restaurant, so I use half and half and everything. About a 
quarter green or half quarter green. Whisk this. That's what we call egg wash. Want to make sure all the eggs whip up good. Looks pretty good. All right. We got our flour and our panko ready. A little flour, two cups of flour, I mean panko. One cup flour. You can season this if you want. I didn't want to get too crazy with everybody, but you can put black bean seasoning in here if you want. You can put, um, you can use the um, Cape Cod seasoning, which is what I'm going to do today. Not a lot, just in the back. All right. So we got our mix to put our fish in. All right. A flour. Thank you. A lot. All right. You added flour because Excuse me. You added flour because I didn't get flour on there. And four cups of candy. Yeah. Yeah. That's either or. No, not either or. Yeah, well, yeah, you can use flour. Sometimes I just use flour. Sometimes I don't ever use just panko though. It's hard for it to stick. So if you had the four cups of panko, you would put a cup of flour. Yeah. Sorry about that. Sometimes I you know. All right. So we got our skillet ready. I'm going to saute one of these. And um, then we're going to take this a little bright. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. And then once, once I whistle really loud, <laughs> you, all, you all come running. And we're going to serve you some saute flounder with crab mild. All right, so let's let's do this real quick and then we'll uh, we'll take a little break. So what I have here is the oil. Um, you can use vegetable oil or you can use clarified butter like that butter that I had this the top part. And um, that butter, when, the, when you use this butter, your, your smoke point's gonna be a lot quicker. This is grapeseed oil and some other things. Um, that I get this main just for sauteing, and it's it's really really because sometimes when you're when you're in the kitchen you have three other things you'd be doing you'll turn around and your skillet will be smoking and you got to throw that out. This can go a really long go twice as long. So if I forget, I'm still in the ballpark. So here we go. Yes, I bought this. I bought this. Yes, just for restaurants or is it? Um, I think you can get it at the Gordon's grocery store if you order it. And it comes in a big box and it has a little core thing like the little box of wine thing, so it'll last forever. So we're going to put a little. There we go. I can only use Jane's skillet, saute skillets here because we don't want to ruin. The nice stove. <laughs> I think we had to scrub for a week last time. <laughs> yeah, that's a gas stove. It's nice. Oh, it's really nice. It's got some really uh, neat stuff. I mean, it's got some James Bond type things. <laughs> huh? Huh? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Then when mom comes home, I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we're starting a bit. We're going to take a little. 
<laughs> All right. So you want to go? Yeah, play two. You want to go um, egg wash? Gently throw it over. You want to use your wet hand and not do what I'm doing here. One hand for this, one hand for your dry. But I'm in a hurry here. <laughs> and I want to show you what's going on. And I'm, I can do that afterwards. All right. So we got it in there. One hand for wet, one hand for dry, and you won't get this. <laughs> this is a huge, huge flame that I'm burning this on, and you can see it's still not smoke. Okay, so you don't want to go crazy. Perfectly cut it. Nice golden brown. I'm not going to cook it all the way because I want them all to come out at the same time. So I'm going to saute them. I get a nice round on them. And I don't want to put them on sheet pans. I don't want to finish them off in this oven. You can do that if you have a dinner party for six people. All right? Good deal. All right. All right. I do presentation side down first because I want that to look the best. We look in here, we want a little. I'm getting a little. You hear it? Yeah. That's what you want. If you're not getting a sizzle, then you're just going to have soggy, soggy fish. You won't get that crisp that you need. All right. All right. Don't get antsy with the fish. Let it rest. You start fooling around with it, the bread crumbs are going to come off. It's going to break. The fish is very delicate. It'll, it'll fall apart. You want that crust, and you want that crust to get on there. You'll notice I'm getting a little brown edge. You want to do that? A little bit of a brown edge. I can't tell you guys anything about the crust on this. Bring your grease down, flip your fish. All right. <laughs> And there we are. All right. And let Well, for one thing, we sauteed it. We used the spatula that had 
Can I take some of your All right, y'all can take a break. Probably take me about 20 minutes and a half hours. So I'll take this. Yeah. Yeah. Man, if you can go to the fourth floor or the third floor, it's so awesome up there today. It's a pretty day. It's a spiral staircase. staircase. Just like this.
I'm going to start with some. We have all the John on our We have a game of gown on our town. We have Perkins, but she already dances. And when she dances, there's something about the I have a dear friend of Thank you. 
Hey guys, everybody, I got one more uh, little, little surprise for y'all. Um, Erica um, and our, our bartender at on Broadway uh, made some sangria. I was going to send out a little glass of it just to refresh your mouth and be a little cleansing after, after eating. And um, to help out, it's been really rough these last year or so with the COVID thing, getting restaurants and places, establishments like this up and running and going strong like we were before. If you can go on Yahoo or for me, Open Table, and just give it, give, you know, Bluebird's video a shout out. You know, you don't have to write a paragraph or anything like that, but stars really help out. There was as many as you think. And um, it would really help out a lot, you know? Um, just throwing that out there. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas. See you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's a sangria. Thank you. 